Okay, so we're back with part two. And I've just been spoiled so much. Thank you so much. I've got four of these to alter. And they are going to be so much fun to alter. Thank you so much for all that. Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay. These bags are so, so pretty. And will be fun to alter. Oh, my gosh. Look at all this trim. And it is just the most exquisite crocheted trim there is. Oh, my Thank you so, so much, and so much of it. That is a beautiful vintage car. I love that. Such a beautiful purple. So pretty. I've got another bag. There's four of these. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. OMG. Thank you. Look at these buttons. Oh my gosh. Thank you. These are amazing. Can you see the work in them? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Are these vintage or... They're like cabochons, but they, they just look really old. They've got that lovely old look to them omg how boho is this it's like a boho butterfly that is so beautiful i can just see that on a cover of um a boho journal or any journal really or on the pocket as a final little embellishment wow thank you oh and gray Oh, this is exquisite. Oh, I know how they've done that. Wow. They've taken one of those really big rose trims and they've kind of sewn around it. Jeez, look at all the work involved in that. So much work. You can see all the stitching in the book, how they've done that too. Lots of work in that trim. So pretty. Thank you so much. So, so much. It's beautiful. Melinda and um, Alexis are always very generous. Every time they send me something, it's... Yeah, they always spoil me. So, thank you so much, girls. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Another beautiful bag. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Look at the ombre-ness starts with a lovely kind of white and beautiful oh wow so so pretty I'm, I'm getting into boho yeah and um I'm, I'm actually selling boho packs too so um yeah this just screams boho so beautiful thank you so so much Love that. I actually, um, what I find a turn on is boho mixed with a bit of the vintage, like the doily, and you know what I mean. I don't like full boho. I like a little the boho mixed with the traditional lace and doilies and all that. Oh, wow. Another beautiful bag, need I mention. And, oh, wow. Thank you so, so much. That is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous rose, rose pearl trim. Can you see that? So pretty and so much of it. Thank you. Oh, pretty. We've got some lovely napkins. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh wow. 
beautiful little Christmas napkin. Oh, wow. Look at that. Beautiful dragonfly, floral butterfly. That's what I love about these, the little ferns. You can just cut that bit of the fern off or this bit here or just little bits and put them in just the side of your page that you're working on. It doesn't have to be the whole lot plonked on. Yeah, less is more as they say. And it just makes your napkins last a lot longer too. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. Absolutely adorable. Gorgeous. Wow, and I've got one on each. Thank you. Beautiful. Oh, oh. How adorable is that? It's a little bird sitting on a little tea teapot with a biscuit and a cupcake. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> oh, thank you. Ah, oh, love those. Thank you. Okay, so next lot of happy mail. Jeez, I've been spoiled. Thank you so much. Ah, this is a map of Bendigo. So the CBD, this is where I live, just on the outskirts. Uh, Where's Footscrew? Marbrunong Road. No, Marong Road. Huh? No, that's not right. Did they misspell it? Mm. Calder from okay. Um mm, Victoria Street. Okay. So so you're out here, Bendigo, and if you jump on MacIver Road that'll take you to the city. Oh wow, is that all you have to do? Go on MacIver Highway. Is that a new one? That's awesome. And isn't there a new airport down your way? They've just built an airport too. Ah, oh, oh the CBD in Bendigo. I'm, I'm a goose. I thought they meant CBD in um, Melbourne. I'm an idiot. Sorry. <laughs> okay, the CBD in Bendigo. Cool. Camp Hill Primary School. Is that where you go, Molly? Um, Alexis? Camp Hill Primary? Wow. Beautiful. Ah, Sacred Heart Cathedral. Stunning. Mm. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Quaint old church. We've got some beautiful vintage book pages thanks for that it's a winery so pretty love these old papers little <laughs> oh wow love the smell Lindemann's wines pretty Alice Springs oh wow Northern Tasmania Geez, this looks like a map from the 70s. Thank you for that. So pretty. Port Stephens. Ah, Clarence Valley, Port Macquarie, Tasman Sea. Wow, these all look amazing in journals. Maybe just cut it off at the bottom a little. Wow, yeah, I love using these too. These are beautiful. Thank you so much for these. These are from the stitching stitching books. And um, yeah, they look really lovely. Fold it up. Ah, t telling me how to thread and do embroidery, mm. different stitches, smocking, some more beautiful thick old smelling pages, oh wow, beautiful. 
Thank you. Opening a cask. Wow. Alcohol. Brewing some alcohol. Some wine. Oh, wow. The Rothbury estate. Is that where they produce it? Oh. Shabless Valencia. So pretty. Thank you so much for those. Beautiful pages. Now these. I know I've received them before. These, this is the store that the, the girls have. Okay, and if you go to www.scrapbookingandcraft.com, which used to be her old YouTube name, I remember, before she changed it to Alexis and Melinda's Art Space. Um, yeah, so that that's her own YouTube, uh, her own website with her own shop. That is so cool. I'd love to do that one day instead of paying fees at Super de Mitzi. So I'll, I'll put that in the description below as well. So she sells these for $5. Now look how many you get for $5. And I'm pretty sure she has a machine where she does these herself. So she can afford to sell them at cheap prices because she does them herself um, and make to order like you tell her what you want and she'll do them so if you've got some specific die cuts you want done she'll do them for you these are so thick now I don't know if you can see the layer how thick it is it's awesome very thick um it's not actually paper. It's too thick to be paper. There, it's like wood. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Wow. That works out to like fifty cents each, and they're really good quality. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I'm so lucky. You just spoiled me. Wow, okay, um, chipboard embellishments, so these would, these would cost $5 too, and you get so, so many, wow, oh my gosh, how adorable is that, on a journal, or on any mixed media project, Oh, how cute, there's images with boys and skirts, and so it's all even. <laughs> Mum, dad, children playing. Oh, and I love your presentation, the way you put them in so nicely, and the stickers, and very professional. Oh, wow. Mixed media chipboard. Oh, for all you ladies that are into mixed media, this is awesome. It's like a puzzle. Wow. Looks like um circuitry. Eh? <laughs> that is so cool. Like a Pac-Man game. That's awesome. Thank you. Am I still filming? Yep. Oh, wow. Nearly on the 15. Yes. All right. Oh! Chipboard embellishments, $5. All this for $5. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Look at all that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at all this. Can you see all that? Oh, jeez. No, you can't. All right, let, let me hold it up. So you get all these circles, different shapes, heaps. Like, these are fantastic to do as borders on. It's 
see if I've got something here to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, so say so you've got an image, like a little border. So they look fantastic like that. Awesome. And then look at all these. These are amazing. There's just heaps. Thank you so, so much for all these beautiful die cuts and you get all that for five dollars okay. thank you so so much so that's entry number 12 I believe Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate everything. Thank you, girls. And thank you for this beautiful entry and all the beautiful little tags and tuck spots. Just amazing. So, so pretty. Thank you. Bye.